Good morning. I'm Rob Woods. I'm the director of the South Carolina Department of Public Safety. In addition to our primary mission of enforcing traffic laws through our South Carolina Highway Patrol and State Transport Police Divisions, SCDPS is also responsible for administering federal and state law enforcement grants. <clears throat> Last year, our Office of Highway Safety and Justice Programs began administering the state's School Resource Officer Grant Program. Understanding Governor McMaster's uh, commitment to school safety and his first priority of ensuring that every South Carolina school is assigned an SRO, we placed our best person in charge of the SRO program. Mike Tucker is an experienced law enforcement officer and public administrator. He immediately uh, went to work assessing the expectations and needs of both school districts and their law enforcement partners and in just one year, he increased the number of state-funded SROs in South Carolina by 74%. It is a great honor for us to join Governor McMaster in recognizing Mike's hard work and commitment by naming him the SCDPS Public Servant of the Year. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to add my congratulations. Oh, this is a, was and is an important initiative that we're doing in South Carolina. We have about 750,000 children going to school every day, and that means you have parents at home or at work, and you have aunts and uncles and friends and grandparents, and it just will not do to have our people worrying about their children, worrying about their safety, and to have the children themselves distracted by such things. So because of that, we determined to make a major effort to see that they are kept safe in every way we can. And part of that is to see that in our schools, every school, every day, all day, there's a trained, certified police officer on duty all day long with those children. Now, saying is one thing and doing it is another. So you have to do it. And as Director Woods mentioned, it involves grants to the various schools, it involves state funds, federal funds, it involves a lot of technicalities, and it's not something that can just be done quickly. It takes a team working diligently to see that it gets done. And when I asked for this in 2018 in the state of the state address, we had about 400 somewhat less than 400 safety officers in the schools. We really didn't know where, where they were. It was not a unified program. But because of this program that we now have, we have almost 1,000 trained, certified, armed, ready police officers in our schools all day, every day. And that, has, that makes an enormous difference. But as I, and we go, we're going to also, we're going to have them in all of our schools, all 1,250 schools. To get that done takes a special kind of leader, a special kind of environment, and that environment definitely does exist in our Department of Public Safety. And the leadership exists with Director Woods and also the man that he picked to head this effort, and that's Michael J. Tucker. I don't know that anyone could have done it, done it quicker and done it better than he did. And it is uh, with great pride and thanks that we honor him today with the Public Safety Servant of the Year. Thank you. All right. And I'll read it. Presented to Michael J. Tucker. Public Servant of the Year. We hereby express our sincere appreciation for your exceptional perform performance and dedicated commitment to the service of the South Carolina and its citizens. By Robert
Robert G. Woods, fourth director of South Carolina Department of Public Safety, June 2022. And I present this on behalf of 5.2 million proud, happy, thankful South Carolinians. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Governor. Yes, sir. Thank you. Would you like to say a word? Well, I'm very honored to receive this award. And as the governor stated, this is, I don't consider this an individual award, it's a, it's a team award. Uh, not only our team at the Department of Public Safety, but statewide, the State Law Enforcement Division, the South Carolina Criminal Justice Academy, uh, Mental Health, it's a, it's a statewide effort along with the local agencies and stuff uh, regarding school safety, which this SRO program is just a part of. And I can honestly say that in over 40 years of public uh, service that this job has been the most rewarding of my career. Uh, as, a, as a parent, a grandparent, uh, I, I pledge to this state that we'll continue and we're going to meet the governor's goal and the legislature's goal of getting a SRO in every school in the state. Thank you.